Hi, I'm going to show you how to create a planner in Evernote. So first thing you need is an account. So go ahead and go to Evernote and download an account. I suggest doing the desktop version. Um, it's easier to work with. This is a desktop version right here. It syncs to the, the web. This is the web version and it also syncs to your app. You can get an um, Android app. I believe they have it for iPhone. I don't know but they have an Android app and everything syncs together. I find it easier to work with the desktop version, especially when you're creating planners. So creating a planner, the first thing you do is you create, you can do a notebook here or you can do a notebook from here. So go to file, new notebook, and let's call this one January 2014. Go ahead and do the synchronized notebook. That way it'll synchronize to your web and your phone when you need it. Hit OK. Um, here's a January 2014 notebook. I'm going to right click on this and add it to a stack and, or create a new stack. The stack is basically the main notebook and then the following months will be in here. So I'm going to rename this. Right click, rename, monthly planner. So now I have a main notebook or a stack called, oops, sorry, monthly planner. And underneath it, I have my January and I can keep creating more. So if I right click, I can create a notebook in my planner and name it February. So just keep going. So now let's create the planner. Join January, 2014. Go over here, new note. You can select from new note which will look like just a blank page or an ink note which looks like this. You can do audios and um, videos as well but we're not going to do that. So a new note, click right here, double click, title it, get, I, I, I enter down a little bit to give myself a little bit of room this right here is a table. Go to options. Create how many rows and tabs, that, um, how many rows and columns that you want. OK. Date. Child 1. Child 2. You can bold. You can center. You can change colors. You can italicize whatever you want to do. Then you put in, right here I put in week of going here. I just hit control B to bold it. Check mark. Um, So you can add in math, science, you can add in your whatever subjects you're working on. So here, history, and then whatever objectives you want to meet. You can also highlight, like if you have a specific website you use, you can highlight math or one of these and go hyperlink, add, and then copy and paste the website that you use. 
You can attach files if you already have files. Okay. So it shows up like this. You can leave it like that or you right click on this and you view as attachment. And there you go. So you can do that. Now let me show you one that I've already fully created. It saves by itself, so I can just X out. One that I've already created that's right here. And this is what the finished version looks like. So my week, everything I want to cover. I check mark as I'm done. So finish writing. Here's all that. So there's my month of January. Say I want to highlight, I want to, this is for time for writing. So I'm going to hyperlink. There you go. I wish I also have created grade books um, and portfolios, all that other quite a bit of other stuff that I will record and show, share with you guys later.